What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I actually have a quick video for you guys today, but before we get too deep into the video, be sure to like, be sure to comment, be sure to subscribe. On the road to 2,000 subscribers, and I can't do it without you guys. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And to give you a time frame, today is Tuesday, July 16th, and we actually just had some breaking news around the NFL. And it kind of, and it, and it semi involves our commanders in a way. So, as I've mentioned in um, a couple of videos ago, that the biggest offseason topics regarding the Washington Commanders seems to be Brandon Ayuk to the Washington Commanders. Now, whether that be the TikTok that he posted with his conversation with Jaden Daniels, whether that be him going on the pivot, actually saying that he wanted to play with Jaden Daniels, and then when he was asked what teams um, did he potentially see himself playing with, um, at first, he said a team that ends with S, and then he got into more detail and said that it it wasn't the 49ers. It will be the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Washington Commanders, um, or one of those teams, respectively. Well, his wish might be coming true, um, and we might see that dream come to fruition because as of today, as of a couple of minutes ago, this isn't even 15 minutes fresh, that Brandon Ayuk has officially requested a trade from the San Francisco 49ers seeking a new contract per Mike Garofalo from the NFL Network. Um, and yeah, um, this is quite the news to be dropping a week before training camp. Um, the Commanders rookies, I think, even go into camp starting or open up camp two days um, in two days. So this is, this is quite the news. Um, now, that is really official. Um, how do you guys feel about Brandon Ayuk potentially becoming a Washington commander? Uh, while I was driving when I first heard it, and the local media uh, being the Debbie Downers that they are, um, the first thing that J.P. Finley, and I'm a J.P. Finley guy, but the first thing that he mentioned when he saw this report, is this is the first thing that he did. He was like, well, let me remind you guys that Debo Samuel also requested a um, trade from the 49ers before he got his contract as well. And I understand you wanting to give context, but if you're going to do that, you need to give more context context and you need to mention how the 49ers don't have nearly as much money as they did in the two after the 2021 season when they agreed to that contract extension with um Debo Samuel um because Fred Warner was on a rookie contract then Christian McCaffrey wasn't um on the roster um Trent Williams had got has signed a new contract since then so there's not as much money to go around and I think that's why the 49ers have essentially been lowballing Brandon Ayuk um Throughout the course of the offseason, um, in the report that Garofalo said is that they haven't mentioned any numbers since May. So even in the recent even in the recent meetings that he's been having with the San Francisco 49ers, they were nowhere close to agreeing to terms. And he's finally reached his boiling point, which I understand. Um, and as from the perspective as a Washington Commander fan, I would love Brandon Ayuk on my roster. Uh, I would have felt better about this move if he would have did this in May instead of putting us through the fiasco with the TikTok with the TikTok excuse me with um the pivot episode with him posting our practice film and things of that nature. If he would have just handled it like this and made that officially official back in May and let it know where he wanted to be gone, I would have been all for a Brandon Ayuk move. But guess what? I'm still all for a Brandon Ayuk move. No matter how turned off I was by him using our future franchise quarterback as a pawn in his contract negotiations. Because Brandon Ayuk is a damn stud. Brandon Ayuk is a damn stud, and what excites me about the news coming out today is that you can potentially get him for pennies on the dollar at this point. You can potentially get him for pennies on the dollar. He's going into his last year of his contract, so you might have to uh, agree to a contract extension. But now that he's let it be known amongst the, uh, across the league that he wants to get traded, it's not like they're going to be banging down uh, San Francisco's doors um, offering up any ones because guess what? They know that you got a, a unsettled cu customer. I mean, an unsettled employee, a disgruntled employee that doesn't want to exude and give out his best services for you guys anymore. So the low ball offers are going to come. Um, and I know a lot of people are like, go, go knock on, go knock, ring on John Lynch's door right now. No, you never do that in contract negotiations because guess what? Those are the quickest guys to be fleeced. You wait it out. As, as we've said, and we've even did a video on it, you know that Brandon Ayuk doesn't mind wanting to come to Washington. You know that 
Adam Peters has a, a relationship with the guys in the building in San Francisco. So I don't see a reason why this can't work um, with an appropriate deal for each side. So now that this is happening in the middle of July, right before training camp, I think an appropriate deal for a guy like Brandon Ayuk's stature at this case in the NFL calendar year is maybe a 2025 second along with maybe a fourth round pick, a second and a fourth. Um, and that would be an absolute steal um, to get a potential number one wide receiver. Um, if you guys haven't been paying attention, our skill position groups were ranked 27th in the NFL last week by ESPN. I think there was an article by Bill Barwell. And I can assure you, I, and this isn't this isn't a threat as, as if you want to play the semantics game. But I can guarantee you, if Brandon Ayuk was implemented into this skill position that we already have, we wouldn't be in the 20s anymore. That that spot would jump at least 10 spots. I can guarantee you of that because he's that type of ball player. Um, it does put you in a limbo of what you do with Terry McLaurin, who doesn't have any guaranteed money going into the um, after the 2025 season. Excuse me. Um, but if you do give Brandon Ayuk um, in a long-term extension, he's, he's going to be... Um, well, he's going to be the guy that's perceived to be your future ex or your franchise ex for the next three to four years or however long the duration of his contract is. Um, but I would I would make the move quick, fast and in a hurry, uh, because as as we see on the screen, he has made it known that he does not want to be a San Francisco 49er anymore. And he's been making it known and it's official. He's officially made it uh, known, but he's been saying it. He's been giving out little hints. Um, since the beginning of the season, if we're being honest, um, and I get it, I get it, especially if I'm balled out, had a 14, uh, hundred yard season, um, his reception perception numbers came out last year, um, for last year came out recently and he had some of the elite numbers, um, some numbers that put him in historical outliers in reception perception or how he was winning on different types of routes and things of that nature. Um, so this is a guy that if you come in, implement him, um, he's going to take a while to get him acclimated into the offense. But hey, everybody is learning a new offense in the Washington Commanders. So that's um, a positive thing. But you build, um, you bring him in with a guy like Jaden Daniels that he's already played with, that he's already built a chemistry with, that he's familiar with. I told you guys. Uh, the trend of pairing college quarterbacks with their college wide receivers is one of my favorite trends in the NFL. Thinking of a guy like Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase and things of that nature. Uh, I would love to see the Jacksonville Jaguars do that with T. Uh, T Higgins and Trevor Lawrence um, as well. But as of today, Tuesday, July 16th, um, 2024, at around 1 o'clock p.m., Brandon Ayuk has officially requested the trade from the San Francisco 49ers. He even mentioned um, a couple of weeks ago on the pivot that he said if he thinks that he's not a San Francisco 49er, he thinks that he might be a Pittsburgh Steeler or a Washington Commander. So it looks like we might have 50-50 chance um, at Brandon Ayuk to be a Washington Commander come September at the start of the season. So let me know how you feel about this, guys. Let me know um, if you would sign Brandon Ayuk. Let me know if the actions or the, or the, or the things that he has been Putting us through as Washington Commanders fans this offseason. Has that turned you off? Um, did this news that came today, did that reinvigorate your excitement of potentially bringing him in um, to the Commanders? But yeah, um, the word is officially out. Brandon Ayuk doesn't want to be a 49er anymore. Um, does that mean he wants to be a Washington Commander? I guess you'll need to find out on the next episode of Bleeding b and Thank you guys for tuning in uh, to the channel, and I'll be back later. Peace.